Dare to dream, boys. Why not? No. Fuck Messi. See me on Dundas West, bitch. I don't know why they call him the Maritime Messi. Messi should be the Argentinian Schaffelberg. I drank too much maple syrup. I'm fucked up. This is Fan First Network. All right. So, Canada are fucking going to the semifinals of the Copa America. Let's go a date with fucking Messi. Vamos. Let's do it, buddy. Yes. Canada versus Argentina, two electric boogaloo. Oh. At this point, semi-final. Okay, yo, listen. It's a huge step. Semi semi-final, yo, it's enough. I mean, yeah, keep going. Don't don't think it's enough. Think think you need to win the whole fucking thing. They do. But in reality, it's it's enough. But we got to go further because, bro, if we beat Argentina, I have to... <laughs> Man, like, and, uh, are we favorites if we beat Argentina? Like, ge genuine question. I think it's Argentina, Colombia, Uruguay. That's it. Um, and it's Canada, baby. Canada, Four. We are the fourth best team in this tournament, bro. We are. Which is the whole fucking Americas, by the way. That, like, no one would ever think you stick Canada and South America. They're even, like, top eight. But, bruh. Top four in all of the Americas. America got grouped. Yeah. Stinky, stinky motherfuckers. El Tri stunk it up as well, although I actually think they kind of got robbed, but we, we'll, we'll leave that for another time. Canada, the only major CONCACAF nation. The kings of CONCACAF. The kings of CONCACAF. I don't know why they were gassing up the US. I don't know why they were gassing up Mexico. It's, it's all Canada, baby. It's all Canada. Just give me your analysis of what you saw from this team today. Yo, I actually think we were really fucking good, you know. I, I actually, over both halves, I think we were really fucking good. I think the goal, first of all, we got kind of robbed, like, right before it. And it should have been 2-0 at that point. But I think the goal was kind of ass apart from that, because I think Bombito should have done better. Crepo went a bit too far off his line. But apart from that, we were really, really fucking good. Kyle Laren had that chance that he couldn't get on the end of. I really think another striker gets on the end of that, but... Yeah, how many chances have Kyle Laren had in this tournament he hasn't gotten yeah, on the end of? Like, Unfortunately, that is just the reality of our strike I, I force. Mean, listen, he used to be very good. I, 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 I respect him for what he used to do. I think now, Tani missed a few like big chances, yeah, but at least he gets the movement, right? He, when we play Tani, we have a striker who gets onto the end of that stuff more. With Kyle Laren, there was an absolute tap in there. And he didn't get on the end of it. But Jacob Schaffelberg, bro. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. This guy, yo, top five leagues is minimum, right? Like, it's not, it's not normal what he's doing. Bro, he's, he's the best creator in the tournament. In the whole fucking tournament, he's been the best creator. Bro. It's not funny. Bro. It's not funny. Next, turn, next round, we come up against Messi. But the Maritime Messi fucking clears. He clears. I don't, call, I don't know why they call him the Maritime Messi. Messi should be the Argentinian Schaffelberg. Fucking right! But, yes! <laughs> absolutely right. But listen, I think we need to make a few changes that game. I'm so sad Tejon got injured, bro. Because oh, this guy was... We, we love Tejon. He was cooking against Chile. I think he could have cooked today. Copa semi-finals! Last thoughts, just like, is this possible? Can we dream, bro? We can dream. It, it's, it's completely free to dream. It, is, it costs nothing to dream. We should dream, and we should work towards that dream. Even though I don't think we'll get there, I'm a bit of a pessimist with that, because yeah. it's Argentina, I mean, world champions. True. But all I'm gonna say, man, I'm fucking ecstatic. I love this country. I love this team. Golden generation. Yes, World Cup 2026. I don't care what happens in the rest of the tournament. Yes. World Cup 2026. Here we come, boys. Here we yes. come. All right, so we're heading to the semifinals of the Copa America. I can't fucking believe we're here, bro. Come on, boys. Come on. Never best was night, best Never night was as a Canada thought. fan of my life. You know, Without a doubt. Jamaica might have been better. This is pretty fucking good, though. Man, like, these are special moments, though, that we're having as we've we waited for this forever, bro. Oh, yeah. I said inside, I said, as, as a Canada. As a person from Toronto, I didn't think I would be having these moments for this team, for this sport in this country, and it, Never it, it's, it. it's chills, to be honest. Tony came to save us in pens, in Crapo and pens is unbelievable. Was, and, was. you know, we're going to see the best player in the world in 
four days. So I'm a little bit scared, but you know, I know Alistair Johnson's gonna have a night. You know, we're gonna Davey's gonna lock him up. Yeah, it's gonna know, be baby. brilliant. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's fucking go. This is what's going on in the streets of Toronto right now. Man. Awesome. I can't I'm believe messy. it. Jacob Schaffelberg is the maritime messy, bro. Maritime we got messy. our we got a messy to play next week, but we're bringing yeah, our we own messy. We have our own. He's unbelievable. He can take on anyone in the world. Beat his man, whip a ball in. He's a game changer, and I'm excited to see him play against the slow Argentinians. He's got the pace to beat anyone. Do you think, can we Can we dream? Do you think we can get past Argentina and to this final? Why not? I mean, we were we were the better team for all 90 minutes tonight. Listen, our chances, we have to finish our chances. We need Laren and David to step up. Neither of them were good enough tonight, and they'll, they'll both know they have to be better in the next game, and I think that that'll drive them to be better. If we create even half of the chances we played tonight, we have a chance. Crepo has been good enough. He has been. Dare to dream, boys. Why not? Why Andrew, fucking? Why not? Why not? No. TSN, the, the the networks in general, they haven't been showing many of the games leading up to this. No. They've hopped on for Copa America. Hopefully, it leads to them showing more games in the future. Because that's what you need. You need eyeballs. You need people watching. From there, everything will grow. You look at the Canadian women's team. People are watching their games. They're getting very good and very. They should be getting the the proper recognition they deserve. But we need that on the men's side as well. And. Listen, it was one of the best nights of my life tonight. I just hope it continues. I am absolutely stunned. The first half, we should have had it 4-5-0. We, we were destroying it. them. We they couldn't play out. You know, they were making sloppy passes, and we were capitalizing it. We just couldn't finish. Second half was tough. You know, it was tough. It was a little tough. Venezuela put us to the sword a little. 100%. And when we conceded that goal, it was just such a poor goal to concede. And the way we conceded really it, was. it was just shitty. And then pens. Pens was a roller coaster, man. I hate pens. I, I hate yeah. pens. I don't think anybody actually enjoys pens until the moment it's over. Pens. It should have gone to pens. It should have been 5 0. We should have killed the game off. But we could not finish. We had tons of chances. And it was ridiculous. Yeah. And I thought when we scored early in the game, that exactly. I think when we scored early in the game, we had to get a second goal. Yes. We couldn't leave it till late because we kept leaving it till late the entire tournament and it's bitten us in the ass. Yes. We have a top striker in Jonathan David. For some reason, I don't know, maybe he has to wear a little jersey under his Canada jersey. It's just not been working for him. I don't know why. I don't know if it's a confidence thing, but we'll need him against Argentina. Like, we need him to find his form. Get some goals, you know, put himself in the market, man. Yo, get some goals against Messi's Argentina and Man U's gonna come calling. Literally, yeah, if you're not scoring, no coming Man United, please. Can we beat Argentina? Genuinely. Why not? Certainly. That, why not, man? Why not? That's all I'm gonna say. Why not? Why can't we win it? They had to no go, reason. They had to go to Pens against Ecuador. They did. Messi missed the penalty. Messi missed the penalty. Man, I think we can put up just as good a fight as Ecuador can. 100%. I think, you know, we play our perfect yeah, game. Yeah, on the city bike. Johnny rolling up on the city bike. What's up, buddy? Welcome. How'd you, you made what it. Are you what are your I thoughts, made it. Buddy? I drank going. too much maple syrup. I'm fucked up. <laughs> Let's go. That is a fucking Canadian sentiment. He drank too much maple syrup, not even maple whiskey. Jesus. We saw Mexico go out. We saw USA go out. Canada's still in it. We're in the semifinals. We've shown that we're bigger than USA. We're bigger than Mexico. You know, we're not just one of the three countries hosting the World Cup. We're probably the best of the three uh, hosts, right? We can yeah. put it up. And two years, 2026, we're gonna we're gonna run it, right? We're gonna Yo, go USA, we took your coach and we fucking ballin', baby. Let's go! go! Yo, Yo, fuck Messi, see me on Dundas West, bitch. <laughs> ah, fucking right, boys. That Let's was go. great. Thank you guys so much. So we're fucking going to the semifinals yeah. of the Copa America. Tell me what you're feeling. Tell me what your thoughts are. Euphoric, very euphoric. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Nerve wracking, yes. nervous, exciting, a, a mix of emotions throughout the whole game. A sense of dread after Venezuela didn't want it, but look at us now. We're in the semifinals. It's one of the best games I've seen in a long time. You know, it's yes. uh, and it's come full circle for me because I've I supported the Canadian soccer team as far as I can remember. 14 years ago, I remember like barely anyone showed up for the for here at BMO Field, Canada, Peru, Peru beat us two nothing. This was uh, friendly 14 years ago, and Canadian soccer was a lot of time low. I was there for the 8-1 loss against Honduras, and we've come a long way. You know, we've come a long way. Look, look, look at how far we progress. It's it's amazing. It's uh, put to context, like I said before, uh, there's so much more potential for Canadian soccer, and this is uh, going to the semifinal of a tournament like this. The sky, the sky's the limit. Upsets, upsets can happen. They do happen in international soccer. So. All, all I gotta say is, think and dream big. That's all. There you go. Um, don't, don't set any limits for yourself. No, no reason not. No reason to. And last thing for you, what does that result mean to you personally today? What does that mean for you? 
Vindication <laughs> for yeah, support man. of this team. Yeah, man. Tyson so nice bad. Amazing. I, I love it. Bring on the fucking RGs. That's all yes. I'm saying. Absolutely right. Um, a great moment. I think this is uh, probably up there with Berdusco, I think, 1994. Yep. Paul Pesky Saludo. Real fans remember that fucking yeah. name. That was before I was born. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and listen, Gold Cup is great. But you know what? We're in new times. We are. This is new Canada. This is this is our time right now. Right now, yes. our time. Yes. Our fucking, fucking time. Is. Yes. And in two years, fucking watch out. We're coming for you. We're fucking coming for you. Bro. That is right. When this World Cup rolls into North America, Canadian fans are going to show out, and this team's going to be ready. Canada's World Cup. Yes. Forget North America. This yes. is Canada's World Cup. Fucking right. Fucking right. Our time is now. Yes. Now. Yes. Allez les rouges. Let's fucking go. So. Ooh, ah, Canada. Say ooh, ah, Canada. Ooh, ah, Canada. Say ooh, ah, Canada. That's all I have Let's to go. say. Let's go. That's it. Mike, Done. drop. What a game, Ryan. Oh. Penalty shots. What are you feeling right now? Man, I, I can barely describe my emotions. That was one of the best sporting moments of my life. We have been waiting so long for a moment like that. The energy in there, the passion in there, the passion over at the place down the street, absolutely fantastic. Amazing. As a lifelong Canadian, yes. what does this mean to you, if you have to put it into words? Well, like, to me personally, I remember being a kid and being in school and looking at my little, like, top trumps, English Premier League playing cards, and nobody wanted to fucking play with me. Nobody. <laughs> I promise you, if you're a kid now and you have those fucking top trunk, Trump's English Premier League playing cards, kids are going to want to play with you now. On to Argentina. Yes. What are your thoughts? How do you think we're going to get past Messi? How do you think we're going to get past Argentina to hopefully move on to the finals? Easy. Maritime Messi clears Lionel Messi. It's very, very, very easy. As far as I'm concerned, do exactly what we did today. You need to be defensively resolute. And what we need to change is our finishing. If we can put one more in the back of the net over the course of 90 minutes, man, we could beat Argentina. Absolutely. So many open chances as well. Yeah. Go back to the group game against Argentina. Messi was locked down. He was shut down. He was, bro. If we do the same thing while also finishing, good things can happen. Great things can happen. Dare to dream. Enjoy it, Canada fans. Like, at the very least, it's a beautiful Friday night. It's the middle of the summer, and Canada just had their best ever men's soccer moment. So, have a good night. Celebrate. Let's go. Fan First Network, out. This is Fan First Network.